day everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Tamara Kukshinovich and I'm going to take you through Richmond's year-end results. The key growth drivers of the global luxury market include rising global tourism, a growing middle class in emerging markets, digitalization of luxury brands, an increasing desire for branded products and a focus on quality over quantity. Richmond is a geographically diversified luxury brand company with stores across the globe. Its biggest contributor to revenue is Asia Pacific, followed by Europe. However, the macroeconomic environment is increasingly uncertain, with the COVID-19 pandemic spreading across the world. Economic activity and travel patterns have been disrupted because of this. Countries have been locked down and drastic travel restrictions have been implemented where many airlines have suspended services until the end of May. This will likely result in much lower luxury sales, as luxury goods are heavily exposed to international travel. Health concerns and falling asset prices will most likely substantially drive down consumer confidence. Although travel will resume, it is expected that consumers will probably be hesitant to resume their former desire for travel. Fortunately, the luxury industry in which Richmond operates has a low threat of new entrants. Although high operating margins should attract new entrants, there is a high barrier to entry, which is constituted by the value of a brand's long history. A competitor would also need a lot of time and capital to create a company with the size and scope of existing luxury companies. The power of buyers has risen over recent years due to higher transparency, which has been made available through social media and the internet. Customers can now easily compare quality, design and price. There are also no cost of switching between brands. Luxury companies face a low threat of substitutes. This is attributable to the psychology of customers. Buying a luxury good gives people a sense of belonging or accomplishment. For cheaper substitutes to be able to compete, they would need to provide the same quality, a distinct and identifiable design and higher level customer service. Suppliers have moderate power in the industry. High quality materials, craftsmanship and the origin of the product is important, resulting in limited ability to switch to cheap alternatives. Rivalry among competitors is high, primarily driven by internationalization, digitalization, and recent industry consolidation. The rivalry is also driven by quality, innovation, creativity, and brand perception. The chairman, Johan Rupert, said that this economic disruption could last up to three years, although 462 of its stores have reopened in China. The company's growth will be hindered as overseas spending by tourists from China will cease until traveling resumes to normal. There have been some concerns regarding the YNAP investments as it has been detracting from the group's total EBIT. Despite that, we believe that Richmond has consolidated YNAP at the right time because the global pandemic will speed up the shift to online with the group being ready to generate the sales. The group has invested in positive NPV projects as seen in the economic profit creating value to shareholders. The watch segment has seen declining EBIT since 2012 due to pressure on distribution channel. This is the declining in wholesale, weak exposure to e-commerce and the expanding secondary market, as well as the disruption caused by smartwatches. During times of an economic crisis, the divisions that will suffer the most are watches and jewellery, whereas fashion items and leather goods are more resilient. Despite this, Richmond is well positioned with a strong brand momentum. It continuously shows broad-based and strong top-line growth, attractive operating margins and robust cash generation. On top of that, the balance sheet is strong, which will be necessary to protect equity value in this global crisis. On top of all of this, the group has a cash position of 2.4 billion euros. 
Lease costs form one of the largest portions of a retailer's expense, specifically luxury retailers who have a prime store locations around the world. We believe that the group can benefit from rent negotiations during the pandemic. Currently, the group is trading at a forward PE of approximately 31 times, which is above its 5-year average and its 10-year average of approximately 21 times and 19 times respectively. It is largely in line with its peers. Our target price of 58 Swiss francs is based on a 3-stage DCF valuation implying a potential upside of 11%. Based on the fundamentals as well as the valuation, we recommend a neutral position in the counter. If you would like to place a trade, please speak to your financial advisor or contact the dealing desk. A comprehensive investment idea on Richmond can be found on the PSG online trading platform. Before we end off, please take note of the following disclaimer. Thank you.